let this be a normal field trip? With a friend? No way! Oh. Cruising on down Main Street, you're relaxed and feeling good. Yeah. Next thing that you know, you're seeing. Octopus <laughs> in the neighborhood, surfing on the sound wave, swinging through the stars. Yeah. Take a left at Joe and Tastin, take your second right past Mars. On the magic school bus. Alligator Nostro. I'm on the magic school bus. Come on in and don't be shy. Come on. Just to make your day complete. You might get baked into a pie on a magic scuba. Step inside, it's a wild ride. Come on, right on the magic scuba. special paths. These paths are called orbits, and they show where the planets go. All objects in space, no matter what they are, travel in their own orbits. Under very unusual circumstances, two objects on different orbits may cross paths and crash into each other. <laughs> <gasps> Miss Frizzle, are you all right? <laughs> well, as I always say, there's nothing like starting out the day with a bang. What happened? D.A. clobbered Miss Frizzle. Anybody hurt? Uh, hey, these are all science fiction films. <laughs> I love this one. When worlds collide, hmm, how appropriate. Where have you been, D.A.? We had to start a solar system play without you. Yeah, you were supposed to be Pluto. Arf, arf. <laughs> Carlos. Can we get back to the plate? These rings are killing me. There's no time for a play. We have to evacuate the school this instant. What's the problem, DA? An asteroid is on a direct collision course with Earth. An asteroid? You mean like that giant rock Arnold's loony cousin Janet tried to bring back from space? Exactly, Ralphie. Only my asteroid's bigger. And according to my calculations, sometime in the next 24 hours, it's going to crash into our school and destroy it. I mapped it all out. I first saw the asteroid through my telescope, right where Liz is now. The next night, it was here. Then here. As it got closer and closer to Earth, I tracked it once a night, and then twice a night, then connected the points to show its path. This line shows where it will hit if it stays on the same path, right into our school! Kaboom! But Dorothy Ann, Earth is moving too. We're moving in our own orbit. Oh, I love it when they do their homework. I know we're moving, Phoebe but I drew Earth where it will be when the asteroid crosses its path. <laughs> you expect us to believe you when there hasn't been anything on the news about it? Or in the papers. Hey, why don't we call NASA? Those scientists ought to know what's going on in space. You have reached the NASA hotline. All of our scientists are busy right now. Please stay on the line as your call will be taken in the order received. Thank you for calling the National Aeronautics and Space Administration. Mwah, great. Where's a scientist when you need one? We could be on hold for weeks. Yeah, how are we gonna find out for sure if DA's right? 
Well, I suppose we could just wait here for the big kaboom. Then you'll have your proof. Oh, which reminds me of what my old astronomy teacher used to say. Starlight, star bright. There's always a way to find out if you're right. To the bus? Mm-hmm. Single file, please. Beam us up, Lizzie. Teacher's Ledger, field trip number 24. Welcome, crew of the Magic Space Bus. We are about to go where few even dare dream to go. We are embarking on a dangerous but necessary mission. The objective? Seek and discover Dorothy Ann's mysterious space object. Follow its path, and if necessary, prevent it from impacting Walker Elementary. Go with the side of snores, Miss Frizzle. Why don't we just find it, follow it, and finish it off? Hmm, that'll work. Lieutenant Liz, begin scan phase. Is it too late to turn back? It is too late. Hey guys, look what's coming! It's the home run I hit at recess yesterday. That ball's still going. Good one, Ralphie. No, Ralphie. It's a shooting star. Nope, it's a falling star. Whatever it was, it's burned out. Actually, it wasn't a star at all, but rather a small piece of space junk. They burn up when they enter Earth's atmosphere. Maybe that was DA's asteroid. Good, then we can go home now. Sorry to disappoint you, Arnold, but the asteroid I tracked was much bigger than that. According to my observations, the asteroid is coming from the direction of Saturn. We need to go this way! Lieutenant, set course for 093, 481, sector 555. Delete low-level float and transfer to warp speed. In other words, Liz, head for Saturn and step on it! Keisha, any news from NASA? Still on hold, Ms. Frizzle. Oh no! We're being pulled off course! Re-establish itinerary, Lieutenant Liz. What's happening? Well, if I've calculated correctly, we're about to cross paths with the moon. Uh, does that mean what I think it means? It means we're gonna crash! Forget the man in the moon, we're gonna be the kids in the moon. I think I'm gonna be sick. We're gonna be moon dust. But we were heading towards Saturn, not the moon. What changed our path? Got me. The moon is so much bigger than we are, we don't stand a chance. That's it, Arnold. Because the moon is so much bigger than we are, we're being pulled in by its gravity. Can't we just change our path? Right on track, Phoebe. I suggest an orbital insertion burn. An orbital? What? Lower it and get out of here! Mark? Five, four, three, two, one. Fire! That was close. Is it just me, or are we playing ring around the moon? Affirmative. We are now in what is known as a parking orbit. Wow! Are we going to be moon stuck forever, Miss Frizzle? I mean, what if DA's asteroid is still out there? If there even is an asteroid. Prepare to exit lunar orbit. Asteroids? Where does all this space junk come from? 
Leftovers, Tim. Space junk is just bits and pieces of rock that were left over after the planets formed. At my old school, we always had leftovers. Let's see. If the comet were coming this way, towards Earth... Gee, maybe this comet is what I saw. Oh, now I'm not sure. One thing is sure, if this is it, it's gonna make a pretty big dent in the gym. Still can't get through to NASA, Miss Frizzle. We're losing time. If that's what DA saw, I say we blast it to smithereens. Hold it. That comet looks more like a scoop of Rocky Road ice cream than a rock. As I remember, a comet is ice and rock all jammed together. Cool. Then we don't have to blast it. We can melt it. Melt it? From here? How? The sun, Arnold! The great melter in the sky! <laughs> Extend the mega reflector, Liz! Oops, sorry, Miss Brizzle. It's your command! Oh, no, 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 Wanda. You're doing just fine. Liz, activate the mega reflector. Wait! I'm still not sure that's it! We can't wait, DA. It's almost out of range. Rotate the mirror to reflect the sun, Lieutenant. Begin meltdown. Check it out. All the rock and dust is coming off. It's evaporating. We got it! Yay! Retract reflector. Tell us, Wanda, how does it feel to have saved Walker Elementary School from sure destruction? Sorry, no comet. <laughs> oh, good one, Wanda. I couldn't have said it better myself. Let's go home. Mission accomplished. Not so fast. According to my latest corrections, we destroyed the wrong space object. The one that's going to hit the school is still out there somewhere. What do you mean we destroyed the wrong space object? When we orbited the moon, I got myself all turned around. I thought we were here, but we were really here. To get to the asteroid we're looking for, we have to go this way. Lieutenant, alter course to 090, sector 388. Point of departure, 1300. Uh, begin orbital inversion. Hey, hey Huey! There it is! Whoa, that's one humongous space rock! DA, you sure that's it? Positive. I was afraid you'd say that. Now that we found it, how are we ever going to get rid of it? What's the matter with you guys? We came out here on a mission. This is no time to bail out. We have a job to do. DA's right. If we could melt a comet, how hard can it be to melt an asteroid? Lieutenant? Extend the mega reflector. Rotate to reflect the sun. Begin meltdown! Uh, is it just me, or is the asteroid <laughs> not melting? It's not melting. It looks like it's made of metal. Maybe that's why. Metal and rock, to be exact. If we can't melt it, what are we gonna do? You got us into this, DA. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Um, I wish I knew! Follow that asteroid! There's gotta be more than one way to destroy it. Anybody have a good plan B? There aren't any good plan Bs, Tim. If they were good, They'd be plan A's. Don't give up. As Captain Cook once said, the path to success leads in many different directions. It's simple. The asteroid is on a path like this toward the school. We don't need to destroy the asteroid. We just need to change its path. And here's how we do it. Carlos! 
magnetic rammer slammer on this space pod can pull the asteroid right out of its path. Just launch this baby, and whammo, a done deal. Uh, looks like your idea is out to launch. <laughs> Ralphie! <laughs> the only thing out of here is me. Hold it. You can't go alone, Carlos. It's too dangerous. You coming, Arn? Um, well, uh, actually, I was thinking of, uh, Dorothy Ann. This whole thing is her idea. Fine. I want to go. No way, DA. We need you here. You're the expert. Well, then, I'll go. I've always wanted to meet an asteroid up close and personal. Move over, Carlos. I'll drive. Prepare to launch Space Pod! I ever do in my life, Miss Frizzle. As long as it's not the last thing, we'll be fine. Arm the Rammer Slammer. Armed and ready to fire. Fire! Reverse thrust, Miss Frizzle. <gasps> it's not moving. I'm at full emergency power. We're still not moving it. It's too big and heavy. Not only that, we're stuck. They're stuck! Oh, bad. Oh, bad. Oh, bad, 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 bad. This space pod can't pull the asteroid out of its path because the asteroid is so much bigger and heavier than the space pod. What if we become bigger and heavier than the asteroid? Wouldn't our gravity pull it into an orbit around us? Just like we got stuck in an orbit around the moon? Terrific. Then we can babysit the asteroid for the rest of our natural lives! Not if we get rid of it. Get rid of it? Exactly! We get big, swing the asteroid around us, then get small again. Losing our gravitational pull, and sending the asteroid flying into the sun and gone forever. Right. And no Carlos and the Frizz at the same time? Wrong. Maybe they can't get the pod off the asteroid, but they can escape the pod. How? EBA, extravehicular activity. DA to Miss Frizzle, I have a plan. I sure hope it's better than Carlos's plan. to make this bus as big and as heavy as you can. At least as heavy as the moon. Just do it. Miss Frizzle. The gravity of the space bus is pulling us in. Well done, class. Prepare for ejection, Carlos. Duck! Chill out, Ralphie. It only looks like it's going to hit us, but it's going to go around us in an egg-shaped orbit. If it doesn't, we're gonna be scrambled eggs. It's gonna be close, Miss Frizzle. You sure this is gonna work? In the immortal words of my cousin Bob, it better. Eject! Open the hatch! Hatch opened! They're back! Yay! It worked! Man, we were almost living space junk. 
Now all we have to do is get smaller at just the right time and send that asteroid on a path right into the sun. Oh, isn't this exciting? Lieutenant Liz, prepare to shrink us back to normal size and release the asteroid from our gravitational pull. You can do it, Liz. You've got the right stuff. If you don't do it, we'll all be the right stuffing. Carlos. Ten seconds to release. Mark. <gasps> do we get extra math credit for this, Miss Frizzle? Four, three, two, one. It's free! And on a direct path to the sun! Hey, it's NASA! They said they'll be right with me! Tell them, never mind, we took care of it! But thanks anyway! Yeah, right! Tell them we already found the asteroid, followed it, and finished it off! Yay! Yay! We did it! Awesome! Well, we don't have to worry about that asteroid anymore. Way to go, DA! Way to go, Lieutenant Liz! Prepare for re-entry. We're going home. Looks like the 4th of July out there. Come out here, Evan. It's a meteor shower. Isn't that spectacular? Oh, it's too bad Dorothy ends on that field trip with her class. Your sister would have loved to have seen this. Beam us down, Lizzie. Good old building. Thanks to DA, it won't be crushed by an asteroid this school year. And if one does decide to mess with you, we know what to do with it, don't we, gang? Change its course, of course. Carlos! Ah, good one, Carlos. <laughs> Is this the magic school bus? Is this the magic school bus? 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 I wonder where the magic school bus is. Oh, we're the magic school bus! Hit the speakerphone, Liz. Hello? Is this the magic school bus? Radio, and you're talking to the producer. You have a question? Yes. I just saw your show on meteors and asteroids, and I want to know if an asteroid could really destroy my school. Well, meteorites have hit our planet in the past uh, and caused some problems, like the one scientists believe made the dinosaurs extinct. Uh, but it only happens once in a very great while. That's cool. Well, thanks. Magic School Bus. Hi, my question is about the comet. Can you really, really melt one? Sure. Comets melt whenever their orbit takes them too close to the sun. But if you wanted to melt one from here on Earth, you'd need a pretty big mirror. <laughs> Thanks for calling. Magic School Bus. Yes, this is NASA calling. I understand you were trying to reach us? Well, uh, I mean, uh, uh, actually, yes. Uh, and, and no, the kids on the show were, were trying to reach you. <laughs> Understood. FYI, we all saw your show liked it. <laughs> really? However, for the future, not all asteroids are made of metal. Well, uh, we know that. But some are made of iron and nickel, and those are magnetic, correct? Affirmative. And some are made of stone, and magnets don't stick to those. Let's just make that clear, all right? Yes, ma'am. And another thing. It would have taken weeks for the asteroid to reach the sun. You made it seem like it could happen in seconds. Well, uh, we had to fake it. I mean, you see, our show is less than 30 minutes long. What could we do? Yes, well, 
By the way, I apologize for leaving your kids on hold for so long, but here at the Space Center, things have a way of piling up. If you know what I mean. Surfing on a sound wave, swinging through the stars. Yeah. Take a left at your intestine. Take your second right past Mars. I'm a magic school bus. Navigate a nostril. I'm a magic school bus. Make a plane to two. Your bones right to the sea. Come on in and don't be shy. Come on. Just to make your day.